So coming to the second part of the quant hacks video, in the first part I had covered shortcuts around arithmetic, PNC, SM algebra identities and now I'll be continuing on the same note. So let's start with algebra and let's deep dive into some of the graph questions. So some shortcut, one of the questions that you encounter in graph is the area of mod x plus mod y is equal to n. I've seen this kind of question coming a lot of time in the CAT paper. The shortcut for this is the area will be 2n square. However, just try to understand the kind of graph that happens when you have this kind of an identity mod x plus mod y is equal to n. The kind of graph that you will have is something like this. So that area is 2n square. But now if you have another identity, something like mod x plus y, plus mod x minus y is equal to n. So this kind of graph would look something like this and the area of this particular figure will be n square. Next type of question is like number, find the number of digits in a particular number and usually you get question like two to the power 50 or something to the power something. So it is also very simple. You simply have to use logarithm here and that is for two to the power 50, the number of digits will be 50 log two plus one. So okay, log to value, either you can use the scientific calculator that is also provided. So any log value you want to find out, you can easily do from the calculator, multiply it by 50, do a plus one and whatever, whatever decimal is there, ignore that only take the part before the decimal. So this answer, I think 50 log 2.3 into 50 around 15 point something plus one, which will be 16. So the answer for this number of digits will be 16. And next is on a APGP series where I've seen a typical kind of a problem where the upper part is in AP, say one, three, five, seven, so on. But the lower part of the fraction is in GP, that is say two, two square, two cube and so on. For this as well, if the question is find the sum of this particular series, there is a formula for this. The formula is A into B divided by one minus R plus d into b into r divided by 1 minus r whole square where a is the first term of the ap b is the first term of the gp r is the common ratio of the gp and d is the common difference of the ap in the numerator so next shortcut is also on ap gp only and let me tell you a kind of a question that is asked for this kind of a shortcut so that it becomes clear for you how to make use of this so suppose the question is what number should be added to 36465 to make it a perfect square. So if you do not know this particular uh, shortcut, what you have to do is pick up the options, add it uh, to that particular number and then do a square root using the calculator that is provided with then it will become very easy. But what cat people now do is they put it in type in the answer. So you will not have the option. Then it becomes very difficult to find the square root of this particular number, the closest square root a number. So what you have to do here is this three, six, four, six, five. If you see carefully can be written as 11 into 13 into 15 into 17. That is why the common difference is two. So the number that should be added to make it a perfect square is two to the power four. That is 16 should be added to make it a perfect square. And if I have to generalize this formula, what does it tell you that if there are suppose four numbers, that is a into b into c into d, which are in AP, then the common difference suppose is x, the number that should be added in this particular number to make it a perfect square will be x to the power four. That is a into b into c into d plus x to the power four will be a perfect square provided that a, b, c, d are in a, p and x is a common difference between a, b and b, c and so on. And last one on algebra, this one is on base system. Suppose you are asked the smallest n digit number in base b. The formula for the smallest n digit number will be b to the power n minus one. You can try this with suppose you take base 10, which is which you will be very convenient with and try the smallest three digit number using this formula. You will get the answer. And similarly, largest n digit number in base b is b to the power n minus one. Again, you can try the largest three digit number in base uh, 10 and you can uh, see the answer because then it will be very easy to correlate how this formula is coming. Next coming to geometry here, I'll not be covering any theorem or anything of that sort. I'll only be covering the shortcuts. So there are a lot of theorems like British flag theorem, Apollonius theorem, which sometimes you can use as a shortcut, but I hope you would have covered that in another session in regular coaching as well. I'll only be covering certain shortcuts in geometry as well. And for the first uh, typical type of problem in geometry, there is one problem that you get find the number of triangles possible with perimeter P. 
or with penny meter 48 or anything of that sort so there's a formula for this if sub if the p is odd then the number of triangles possible will be p plus 3 whole square divided by 48 and if p is even then the number of triangles possible is p square by 48 so suppose the question is find the number of triangles with interior sides that can have a perimeter of 48 then the answer for this will be p since p is even so p squared by 48 will be the formula that we'll use here and the answer will be 48 triangles with integral sides remember this integral sides so next uh, formula is to find the number of diagonals possible in an n-sided polygon. The formula is n into n minus 3 by 2 and you can use this and check this for a square. If you put n equals to 4 for a square, you should find the number of diagonals as 2. Take out an area of an octagon if you want to just note down the formula. This formula is here, typical but a lot of people miss this. So the area of an octagon is 2 a square into 1 plus root 2. So all of these things that I'm saying is for your last minute touches. If somehow something similar comes in your exam, you'll be feel very happy because you will already know the formula. And obviously it's not guaranteed that you will get a similar question to use the same formula, but it always helps to know, have this extra knowledge. And in case the problem comes, you will be able to solve it probably quicker than anyone else. Next, coming to number system, there's a typical problem like uh, find the last non-zero digit of a factorial. And here, let me take an example to explain this particular formula. Otherwise, it will become confusing. Suppose uh, I have to find the last non-zero digit of 11 factorial. So first, I'll write it in the form of 5a plus b where uh, 5 into 2 plus 1 will be how I will write for 11. So here a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 1. And the formula is 2 to the power a into a factorial into b factorial is the last non-zero non, non digit. So a is equal to 2, b is equal to 1, put that in the formula, you will get it for 11 factorial. So next you can do it for suppose 21 factorial. Uh, you can do that for 21 factorial and let me know the answer that you get. So these are the shortcuts. There are a lot of other theorems in number system as well. Wilson's theorem for remainder, Euler's theorem and a lot of other shortcuts as well. But I do not want to burden your brain at this point of time now. Remember all of these shortcuts, even if you do not remember, it is still fine. But what is more valuable is knowing your basics. So that's why I always stress on understanding your basics first. And these shortcuts are just to boost your percentile that one or two percentile extra otherwise your basic is what will set the foundation for you so that was it for this video for the next video i think i'll come up with my strategy plan how you can attempt the quant paper and also some very small jugar it will be a small video and after that there will be a video on parajambas as well i'm not a very big fan of giving a lot of time for parajambas but since a lot of you requested there'll be a short video on last minute tip on cracking parajambas so do subscribe and see you in the next one